My name is Veronica DeSalvo. I'm a sales engineering specialist at UiPath, and welcome to this demo on UiPath process mining for the lead to order sales process. Let's meet Tasha, the main persona we will be following in this demo. Tasha's job as a sales operations director is to optimize the lead to order process by discovering inefficiencies and bottlenecks and improve KPIs and business outcomes related to the sales process. She's also tasked with driving lead to order efficiency through process transformation and automation. Since process visibility is key in accomplishing those objectives, she decided to gain that visibility through UiPath process mining. By getting full transparency into the process, she was able to increase the win rate 6% in one year by launching a process improvement initiative around top influencers and save the company over $200,000 annually by automating a time consuming activity. Both were accomplished by leveraging process mining to uncover those hidden opportunities and acting on the insights. Let's see exactly how Tasha did it. Now, before Tasha could do any analysis, she needed Ian, the resident RPA developer, to connect their Salesforce data to UiPath process mining. Instead of having to create a complicated script or do the data transformations himself, UiPath makes it easy with pre-built UiPath app templates. App templates do the data transformation for you. This means that all Ian had to do was create the connection from the data source to the app and UiPath process mining took care of the rest. Now that the app is up and running, Tasha is ready to investigate. When she loads up the process mining application with 2021 data, Tasha can see some key information about the lead to order process throughout the year, like number of cases, events, variance, throughput time, and case value. If she wants, she can start exploring the process graph to see what bottlenecks are present by looking at average throughput time and seeing which activities take the longest, or look at where rework is apparent by checking the average number of events per activity. Once she finds something interesting, Tasha can filter for those instances that warrant deeper investigation to start performing analysis. Tasha's first objective is to identify ways in which she can help her team increase their win rate, which is currently sitting at just over 50%. To start this process, she filters by cases that were won. Now she can see how the process graph and metrics look only for cases that are won. But what Tasha really wants to know is who the top influencers are in winning deals. So she navigates to the root cause dashboard and sorts by users. This gives her a list of all users in the set period and their individual influence on this filter. Tasha wants to narrow the list, so she checks the box only to show significant influencers and drags the node slider to limit the number of users visible. Now she can see that there are three users, Yob, Christabel, and Philly, who have a high amount of influence on cases that are won. Tasha decides to work with these three individuals who had high closing rates to create and lead a training session for colleagues who had a lower closing rate. Tasha is excited to start this process improvement initiative discovered with the root cause analysis capability at the start of the new year. Another goal for Tasha is to discover how to remove friction for her account executives. She decides to see how she can accomplish this through automation. In the automation dashboard, she sees that the current automation rate is just under 30%. And as she looks at specific activities, her eye is caught by opportunity creation. Right now, the automation rate for opportunity creation is sitting at just under 20%. Knowing the process, she has an idea to potentially increase this percentage. She opens the filter pane and filters for only renewals. Her suspicion is verified. The create opportunity automation rate for renewals is also just under 20%. As a process expert, she knows that this is a huge area of untapped potential. Increasing the automation rate for this activity would help save her account executives valuable time. Tasha wants to present this idea to her leadership team, but she knows she needs to present a strong business case for the automation. That's where process mining can help. Tasha hops over to the automation potential dashboard to see just how much in time and money savings this idea would generate. To start, she toggles on the switch to simulate this automation idea. Given the parameters she has entered, this activity can be almost completely automated, resulting in a savings over $200,000. That's a huge opportunity. She decides to submit the idea to the Automation Center of Excellence for development. After filling out the name of the idea, percentage of digital data, and some other key information, Tasha submits the idea to Automation Hub. Now that the idea has been submitted, it's time to meet Sebastian, the Automation COE lead. Sebastian oversees prioritizing the automation pipeline across the company based on the overall business impact of each automation idea. He does this through Automation Hub, an application made by UiPath specifically to capture ideas and automate them. These ideas could be crowdsourced or from one of the UiPath discovery tools like task mining or process mining. 
Sebastian sees Tasha's automation idea come through the pipeline and assesses her idea against others proposed across the company. Since the idea has a high amount of savings associated, over $200,000 annually, and is high in ease of implementation and automation potential, he sends it to the development team. The automation was developed and implemented just in time for the new year. The second quarter of 2022 just passed, and Tasha is excited to see how the process has transformed. By using the compare tool, Tasha can compare the process from Q2 2022 and Q2 2021 to monitor the effect the automation and process improvements have had on the overall lead to order process. Looking at the process graph, she can see how the process steps have changed between these two periods of time. If she wants, she can explore the different dashboards to see how the process has changed between the two quarters. But what Tasha really wants to know is the effect her initiatives had on the key performance indicators or KPIs. By navigating to the KPIs dashboard, Tasha can see the effect her process transformations have had on the metrics that matter. We can see that the win rate increased by 6%, the total automation rate has doubled, total manual event cost has decreased by over $50,000 in this quarter alone, which means a total of over $200,000 annually if the trend continues, and the remaining metrics have all improved dramatically. Tasha's ecstatic. By leveraging process mining, she has increased the win rate 6% and accelerated her company's journey to the fully automated enterprise, saving over $200,000 in annual costs in the process. She also helped give back time to the sales team by automating a tedious task so they can spend more time on closing deals and less time on administration. We just saw how Tasha, Ian, and Sebastian used UiPath process mining to discover, understand, act, and monitor the lead to order process. Ian was able to connect to the application where the process is executed and create a powerful process mining app that allowed Tasha to visualize the end-to-end -end process, analyze process bottlenecks, deviations, and rework, and ultimately simulate the cost and time impact of automation with AI-driven analysis techniques. Sebastian then streamlined the process, automating based on ROI potential and transformation objectives. Ultimately, they were able to align strategy with execution to ensure process outcomes continuously drive business value. Just like Tasha, Ian, and Sebastian, you too can discover the next evolution of your processes with UiPath Process Mining.